My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. I got a great deal for you. This is body off the frame, meticulously done. It's got a 389 fuel injection, Tremec 5-speed, a posi rear end. The thing is killer. But just between you and I, it's not a real GTO, so that's going to save you about $20,000. They started with a Le Mans 42,000 actual mile clean original metal car to start with, and he took it all apart, restored it to what it is now. I drove it. I love it. It's an awesome car. Visit volocars.com. That's where you can read all the description, see all the pictures, and that's where you find prices on all of the collector cars that we offer for sale. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy watching the videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. You'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But right now, the top is down. Let's go for a spin. All right, the gentleman that restored this car, he did it for himself. He's owned it about 11 or 12 years now. Uh, he's only put 700 miles on it since it's been done. He likes building them more so than he likes using them. But anyway, if you lived in this area, uh, you would know that you would just kill to have this guy restore your car. He's a one-man show. He does it himself, and uh, people want to use him. They can't get in to get their cars done with this guy. But anyway, he did this car for himself, so I'm just setting you up to let you know it's dialed in, it's right. There's nothing to apologize for here on this car. So like I said, a 42,000 mile car to start with. Uh, appears to be all clean, original metal, including the floors underneath. He took the body off the chassis. The underbody was all cleaned and prepped and painted the same glossy viper blue color. That's how nice it is underneath. The entire chassis was restored and rebuilt. Uh, like up front, it's all new. The ball joints, bushings, hardware, uh, tie rod ends, all of it. The whole front end, spring shocks, it's all new and painted and detailed. The frame is all prepped and painted a satin black. Uh, the rear suspension has new springs, new shocks, uh, has uh, Edelbrock adjustable upper and lower control arms. The brake system's all new, converted to disc up front. Upgraded stainless steel brake lines, has new emergency brake cable system. So the whole brake system's new and upgraded. The fuel system is all new and upgraded. It's a new shiny tank and it has the fuel pump right inside the tank that's compatible with the fuel injection. It also has stainless steel fuel lines. It has a nice three inch fat exhaust system with a crossover pipe, Flowmaster mufflers, and it's all welded seams. There's no muffler clamps. So you look up at the motor, it's spotless. Uh, it has a high torque starter. It's got a high performance clutch with a Tremec TKO five-speed transmission. The drive shaft's been rebuilt. It has a 355 Eaton Posi in the back. So everything under this car has been rebuilt and restored and detailed. Now the body on this car was stripped down to bare metal. These are big, wide, flat panels. I've owned a few of these myself. I remember the body man saying, just sanding it is hard because it's moving as you sand it. But anyway, big flat panels, it's aero straight. This car was finished in 2010. It's proven itself, it's holding up beautifully. There are no, no blistering, no cracking, no issues. <coughs> Excuse me. All along the bottoms, it's smooth and nice. All the gaps are right on the money. Everything's flush and the gaps are nice. So it was stripped to bare metal, epoxy primed, and it was given the base coat, clear coat, polished to a smooth, glossy finish. Yeah, everything fits really nice here. If you're hypercritical, there's like a little piece of dust here or there in the paint, but this is a way better than what you'll see in a brand new uh, showroom today. 
The grills and headlight bezels are nice originals. There might be a couple little pits or imperfections. The bumpers have been re-chromed. The stainless trim has all been straightened and polished. These are brand new, or new when he restored the car. Rally One wheels, they're 15 inch, probably 15 by eight. All new trim with BF Goodrich tires. New windshield, uh, the frame's real nice. All this trim up here is polished. New emblems. It's a white convertible top. It's a power top. It's crisp white. I don't think he put it down. I think we put it down for the first time. Uh, but it's a bright white top. The frame's all painted, all new weather strips. The boots kind of just got it laying here because they're metal clips on this polished stainless. Kind of hate to do that. These typically crack right here. This one does not show any signs of that. The tail panel is a pot metal. There is a little bit of pitting, but it's shiny. The bumper's re-chromed. Said new emblems. Door jams are painted real slick. All new weather strips. Original interior. The seats are excellent. I was just writing my ad and I almost said new upholstery. This is the original upholstery on the seats. It has the original GM seat belts just in front. They didn't care about the rear passengers, I guess, but they can easily be installed. The carpet was replaced. The dash area is pristine. The heater control panel, the, the trim, the knobs, uh, all that's mint. It does have a brand new set of rally gauges. It has a little checkered flag on the speedometer, has the tachometer, has the gauges. Uh, he did put blue bulbs in the interior lights. Also has a new deluxe wood grain uh, deluxe steering wheel. That's brand new. So everything inside the car is mint door panels. They're probably new. They just look really, really new. The armrests are nice and shiny. So probably new door panels, new boots on the top. Trunk compartments clean. I had my flashlight looking up inside here. I don't see any cuts or splices. I believe they're the original quarter panels, factory seams here in the jam. Uh, so it's all clean metal under the mat. Doesn't look patched. This is all painted the gloss blue. The old trunk compartment is spatter painted. He even spent the money and bought a matching spare. That's a new Rally One wheel with BF Goodrich tire. It's never been on the ground. Uh, the jack uh, is all restored. So it has new trunk mat, new weather strip, new well liner for the top. I drove this car home. It's amazing. I mean, it performs great. Steers, stops, does everything just right. I seriously thought about keeping this one, but I can't keep them all. Under the hood is painted gloss blue. The whole engine bay is just smooth, clean metal painted a satin black. I mean, it's smooth like a chalkboard. So the engine, it is a 389 engine. It's been completely rebuilt and balanced. It's been bored 60 over, has forged uh, flat top pistons. Uh, it's got the good heads on it, the 77 Pontiac heads. They've been ported and polished. Edelbrock high-rise intake with an Edelbrock uh, computerized fuel injection system is Edelbrock rails. There's a panel under the dash that drops down, and there's a computer board there. I don't understand it, but he has a screen. Uh, you can make all sorts of adjustment. It records all the data, but it's running perfect just the way it is. I'm not going to touch it. Uh, all new MSD ignition system, Doug Thorley headers, they're coated. Uh, new aluminum radiator, clutch fan, shroud, all looks new. The alternator's new. Power brake system with a dual reservoir master cylinder. The seam on top of this seat, there's a little spot where the threads have pulled apart. That can be restitched. All right, why don't we fire it up? It's also got power steering, an Optima battery, heavy-duty battery cables. The washers look like they're hooked up. Uh, it's got a little thin little uh, shift light. It'll light up and tell you when to shift. Looks like the high beam switch on the floor is new. Everything's just really nice. Little bit cloudiness in the mirror. Glove box liner is new. The ignition's over here to the left.
Wow, dash lights up blue also. Even the radio lights up blue. AM radio works. like a hair, a little short hair laying on there. It is a scratch. Anytime you buy a car, myself included, I have to buy a thousand cars a year. You always hope you're not getting screwed. You hope it's going to be a good car. I assure you, this is a good car. Whoever buys this is going to be completely happy. I seriously thought about buying it and keeping it for myself and driving it and using it. If I drive a different car home every day, uh, this one here is a good one. That's my impression. You can visit bolocars.com. Plenty of ways to reach out to the salesman. If you have specific questions or concerns, feel free to ask them. They will help you out the best they can. They can also get this delivered anywhere in the world and help you with financing. Go to volocars.com and uh, reach out to the salesman. If you just like watching the videos, why don't you subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. Thanks for watching.